Hey guys, welcome back to GeekJ, where we make tech, tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we're diving into Cyberpunk 2077 once again to install Ultra Plus using the Ultra Plus Mod Manager or UMM for short and check out the awesome benefits. So let's get modding because Cyberpunk has updated finally to 2.3. So first, let's launch Cyberpunk 2077 without Ultra Plus, but we're going to use our MO2 or Mod Organizer 2 installation. And if you're new to Mod Organizer 2 modding, click the card up there for our guide. It's the same steps, no separate plugin needed anymore thanks to the Mod Organizer 2 developers hard work. There's so many improvements so you can even install your mods by double clicking on them. You don't need to go into manual mode most of the time anymore. So it has become a lot easier. So check this out. We have our MO2 installation over here and I'm gonna run the game through MO2. Let's load our game save file that I've created for this specific showcase over here. As you can see, we're running at about um, real FPS around 60 something, 64, 65. We're in a building, so obviously we're gonna have a bit of a higher uh, frame rate and everything is on ultra. The frame generation FPS is around 130 something or 140 something. Uh, this is the Steam overlay. Sometimes it kind of cuts off some of the numbers over there. And if you want to check out our settings, let's go into the graphic settings over here. As you can see, we are running the latest XCSS 2.1 version. XCSS frame gen is also enabled. And if we go into the video tab over here, you're going to be able to see we are also able to run the Intel XE low latency and low latency frame rate target. If you want to know how we did this, hit the card up there once again. It's a different video and I think you're gonna find it really, really simple. We were using uh, DLSS Swapper as always to just update our binaries and unlock these options in the menu. Back to this uh, video over here. There is a big catch if we want to enable any of the path tracing options individually or previous versions of path tracing. We have no options through the game menus. We only have an option to completely enable path tracing. And what that is going to do is basically destroy our frame rate if we do that. And it doesn't really look that good. As you can see, our base frame rate has dropped. Uh, to the low 30s, mid 30s, high 30s. It's kind of all over the place. It's still kind of playable, but the problem is if we drop below 40 FPS, real FPS, the lag, the input lag is real. And also we do not have access because I'm using an AMD graphics card. We don't have access to any of the ray reconstruction technologies by Nvidia because they are Nvidia exclusives. Unfortunately, even though the earlier implementations of path tracing did not require the uh, ray reconstruction by NVIDIA, there was an NVIDIA built-in uh, version of, let's say, ray reconstruction in the game, but it didn't require NVIDIA hardware. But now NVIDIA unfortunately has locked it behind their hardware paywall, so to speak. So yeah, this is how the game looks with a path tracing enabled, but we have no other options, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and fix that. First of all, we're gonna go into the game and disable path tracing, and then we're gonna hit apply, and everything's gonna go back to normal. As you can see, our textures look normal and not so uh, noisy anymore. Everything is clearer. So yeah, let's go ahead and exit out of the game. So time to install Ultra Plus Mod Manager and Ultra Plus. We need to download UMM, set it up and add Ultra Plus for Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to have links to everything in the description below. 
So yeah, first of all, just go over here to the files tab in the Nexus mod and uh, manual download the Ultra Plus mod manager. If you already have this downloaded, you might need to update it. It's super easy. So just uh, double click and run UMM. And as you can see, it will inform you if there is an update. If there is an update, always just answer yes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It's going to update UMM. And as you can see, this is the selected version, the latest version. Just click update over here. Yes, if you have a USC prompt, just like I did. And then click next, install. And then launch and uh, click on the finish button. Everything has been super automated. The devs are doing an amazing job. So yeah, make sure you go on their uh, Discord. I'm gonna have links to their Discord channel again in the description below. And you can just go ahead and say a big thank you to all of these guys, Ultra Plus community and the Mod Organizer 2 community as well. They're doing a huge service. So after we've installed the UMM, uh, if this is the first time you're going to be installing Ultra Plus for Cyberpunk 2077, my advice would be to manually directly install it into your game's installation folder. As shown in my previous video over here, you can find it up there in that card. Uh, it's the same exact situation, even though it's a pretty old video. If you want to have the latest and greatest of Ultra Plus, first of all, I would suggest you go into the Ultra Plus community Discord channel and download the latest version over there, either stable or beta. You can also download the latest version that you can find on Nexus mods and then using uh, Ultra Plus, you can opt in the beta uh, and then just update to the latest better version of Ultra Plus. And as you can see, everything is in its vanilla state over here. We haven't installed anything uh, up till now into the uh, game folder. Everything has been done through our Mod Organizer 2 uh, instance so far. So in order to install this, just double click on this archive and you will see a bin folder over here. Just drag and drop it into your game folder. And basically that's it. Give a few moments and it's gonna launch. It's just checking everything up. And as you can see, it has launched and it's prompting us to uh, pick the game we want to manage. Let's go to Cyberpunk 2077. We're gonna go with uh, reinitialize. This is the correct uh, game location. If your game is not automatically recognized, like the install location of it, just manually uh, browse for it by clicking on this search button. Ours is fine, so we're going to click save. And as you can see, we are on the 646 beta. If you want to receive the beta updates, if you scroll a little bit down over here, you can see opt into betas. This is an option, so you need to have this enabled. And after it's enabled, you will be able to check for the newest update over here. You can click on the update. Select update has been downloaded and is ready to be installed in UMM. Are you sure you wish to apply the specified update? Just click yes, okay. And as you can see, we are on the latest version. And yes, this is gonna say we don't have any other mods installed because we haven't installed any other mods through the UMM uh, mod manager. As you can see over here, the Ultra Plus mod manager supports these mods, but it's going to be, in my opinion, uh, not as 
good and solid as Mod Organizer 2 as it's probably going to attach your actual folders. But through this method, using UltraPlast Mod Manager only for UltraPlast installation, it's, it's going to enable you to keep UltraPlast updated and being able to get the latest betas and all that good stuff without having to go through uh, their Discord channel and all that jazz. You just open up your UMM installation. It's going to prompt you if there's a new update. You just click yes update and you are completely okay. Yes, just click on uh, save and close and then we can exit out of our UMM mod manager over here. Go back into our mod organizer installation and run the game and see how things go. Let's load our game just like we did before. So as you can see, um, everything is exactly as we left it. Let's go back to graphics. We have path tracing off. Everything else is on ultra. As you remember, disabled chromatic aberration and motion blur because I hate those. Everything else is, you know, kind of on the max setting possible. So what can we do? I'm going to uh, hit the keybinds I've set for my CET installation. And as you can see, we have access to Ultra Plus over here. And uh, yes, as you can see, we can enable uh, the Ray Tracing Plus path tracing. Uh, so it enables the bounce lighting. If we want to use that, we have access to the initial uh, path tracing method of Cyberpunk 1.63. And uh, yeah, we have access to all these options so let's go with high for the quality level uh, i'm not gonna mess with uh this option i'm gonna go ahead and indicate i have a 16 gigabyte uh vram for our memory over here i think we are pretty good we need to reload a save game uh after we basically click apply in our settings so click apply go back and load the exact same save game and hopefully we're gonna have all our settings as we want them yes rtpt is enabled and as you can see we have bounce and lighting and everything else is working as intended Pretty amazing stuff. And obviously, we could go with uh, PT16, which is the initial path tracing version, and check out how that works for us. I'm going to click on it. Going to our settings, click apply. We need to reload a save. Let's go ahead and do that. Yep, there you have it. We're hovering around 50 something FPS. And I can already feel the uh, input lag latency. And it's very, very noisy, as you can see. But yeah, the main thing is we have all the path tracing versions here and we can tweak everything. And uh, yeah, it's going to give us access to more or less uh, performance and better visual quality depending on what we want we can go into the rendering features and you can see you can enable so many different things you can even enable your character's um, uh, reflection over here it's disabled by default if you enable it it's not gonna show your head you can fix that with other mods and stuff like that so there is a lot of granularity in what we can do with Ultra Plus, and that's the purpose of this mod. And also, we can have the best of both worlds. So we can have uh, Ray Tracing plus Path Tracing, which enables the bounce lighting that makes Path Tracing uh, a lot better, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that and then go ahead and go into settings and apply. And then I'm going to reload my game. So I have basically good performance with the bounce lighting that makes the game look a lot better in my opinion. But yeah, if you guys want to see a full showcase of Ultra Plus features and how all of the options look, 
click on the card up here. It's a past video. And uh, yeah, we showcase basically all of the ultra class options and all of the versions of uh, its path tracing. So basically, yeah, this is Cyberpunk 2077 2.3 update with a next level control on what we can have visually in the game, even though the game doesn't provide those options uh, through its own menus. So that's it fellow cyberpunks, you've got Ultra Plus running on Cyberpunk 2077 with UMM, grab everything from the links you know where below. If this method of installing Ultra Plus rocks your world, smash that like button, subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell and also drop a comment with your favorite Ultra Plus feature. Stay geeky and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye geeks, bye, bye.